Bitcoin, again, was putting in a little bullish consolidation over the last few days. It started to break down. Now, for me, the kicker here, right, is that there's a chance, guys, that if the stock market continues to sell, and I do think there's a coordination here with Bitcoin starting to stall out here, there's the risk asset effect. And if you start to see NVIDIA come down and you see Palo Alto Networks crumbling today, it does put pressure not just on Bitcoin in the short term, but it also puts more pressure on altcoins. Now, maybe not Ethereum, right? Ethereum, maybe the ETF keeps it up. That's one's been very, very strong. But again, keep an eye on this. Wait a minute, everyone. Welcome to BitcoinZilla, your platform for daily cryptocurrency analysis and news. Our mission is to keep it simple. BitcoinZilla offers engaging information that is easy to understand. Our analysts keep their eyes on the latest news to provide valuable insights via email. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join our community of 10,000 subscribers and experience the new edge with BitcoinZilla. Subscribe now. In this video, Gareth will share his insights on how he expressed concern about Bitcoin's potential vulnerability if the stock market continues to decline, and why he emphasized the importance of Bitcoin staying above the $51,000 level. How he examined Solana's chart and highlighted the technical trend line from October 2023, and what levels he was watching for a potential test of support or breakdown. How he revealed his short position on Celestia and explained the bear flag pattern and the key support level he was eyeing. How he updated his bullish view on gold and why he believed that gold has been an underinvested asset that will benefit from the outflow of money from the U.S. stock market. Let's join Gareth in this interview about these topics and more. All right, guys, we are back. Let's rock and roll right to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, again, was putting in a little bullish consolidation over the last few days. It started to break down. Now, for me, the kicker here, right, is that there's a chance, guys, that if the stock market continues to sell, and I do think there's a coordination here with Bitcoin starting to stall out here, there's the risk asset effect. And if you start to see NVIDIA come down and you see Palo Alto Networks crumbling today, it does put pressure not just on Bitcoin in the short term, but it also puts more pressure on altcoins. Now, maybe not Ethereum, right? Ethereum, maybe the ETF keeps it up. That's one's been very, very strong. But again, keep an eye on this. If we really get a daily close, and I would say right here, this previous low right in this mix, right? So let me draw that in right here. If we get a daily close back below, let's say 51, it opens the door to retest 49. And 49 is that big level. The 49 level is so big because that was the previous high when the spot ETF came. So essentially... Again, like I said yesterday, anything in here is probably okay, but if just on a micro basis, you want to see it obviously hold 50. If we do have daily closes below 49, that's the warning sign for a bigger corrective move on Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been trading in a narrow range between $50,000 and $52,000 as it faces resistance from sellers and profit taking. Bitcoin could see a breakout if it clears the $52,000 level which would open the door for a rally towards $55,000 and $60,000. However, Bitcoin could face a correction if it drops below the $50,000 support level, which would expose the $48,000 and $46,000 levels as the next targets. All right, next up, guys, let's take a look at some other cryptos out there. I try to look at a couple every single day. Look at Solana. Solana, again, guys, I love technical trend lines because it tells you so much. Here's a line going back to October of 2023. Look at how we just kept on bouncing off the line, right? It held, it held. Then you got the final bull run here, at least of this short-term period. Uh, that was kind of what I would consider a blow-off top, right? Blow-off tops is where everyone just goes nuts. It kind of squeezes out all the shorts and so forth. Then it came back in, hit, hit, and broke. And what you did was you came right in here, and then you did a retest of the previous line. So remember, if this is support, right, when support breaks, this now becomes resistance, right? And that's the idea. That's the technical thought process behind it. And you can see it playing out right here. So then we bounce down here, and we hit it again, and it gets rejected. And now you have a new trend line, right, from this low to this low, right through this low, and we've now broken that. Now, again, listen. How low does this go? You don't really know. I mean, short term, we have a little bit of technical support right in this range from these highs here. And I apologize. I got a lot of lines on the chart. Let me clean it up for you guys a little bit. But basically, what you're looking at is my guess is you'll come here and test this. This will be another big support. And if you're a bull on Solana, you do not want this low to get taken out. That is your low right now. That is your retrace low. You break this low, which is around, I think it's around 77 to 78 bucks. 
Now you're talking about a bigger correction that could take you back south of 70, maybe even back into the 50s, okay? Solana has been underperforming compared to other cryptocurrencies as it faces selling pressure and competition. Solana was trading around $40 on February 15, 2024, down more than 70% from its all-time high of $147.50 in September 2023. Solana's trading volume and market share had declined significantly as investors shifted their attention to other platforms such as Solana and Polkadot. Um, another chart that has a great trend line like this, guys, and I haven't talked about shorting this one. I am short this one. We are in the money uh, over 10% already is this Celestia chart. So TIA USDT. And what we can see here, same kind of thought process, right? You have this move to here, right to here. It held. And then you start to hit, hit, and then look at the break. And look at the little bear flag that it made right there underneath. And now it's starting to break down. Key support right here is going to be around this $15 level. We'll see if that holds. Right now it's at 1770, uh, 1679 So just keeping an eye on that. We'll go over other cryptos in coming videos. Celestia's price has been declining steadily since its launch in November 2023, as it faces technical and fundamental challenges. Celestia was trading around $18 on February 19, 2024, down more than 80% from its peak of $94.50 in December 2023. We got to talk some gold action here. Gold, guys, this is now the fifth update in a row. Granted, we still aren't even back to technical resistance yet, but again, it is nice to see that gold continues to see money flow. And I've been a big proponent of this, the thought process that gold has been an underinvested asset. The, in the institutions and the Federal Reserve banks around the world are just going nuts buying it more and more. And ultimately, once the U.S. stock market sees money flowing out of the big tech names like we've seen, Gold is going to be a recipient of that. Now, listen, eventually Bitcoin is too. I'm a big long-term believer in Bitcoin. It's just, again, it's still a risk asset, so people get panicky in it. It's just the nature of the beast. Now, a lot of you guys watching don't get panicky in it. That's fine. Your view is really long-term. Not everyone is as stone-cold emotionless as you guys are, and that's why you see it as a risk asset go up and down. But with gold, it generally goes up when markets go down so close to these levels. And I do think I'm still in that camp that we break out of this range in a very short amount of time. Gold steadied around $2,000 an ounce on Friday, but was still set to decline for the second consecutive week as strong U.S. inflation data stoked fears that the Federal Reserve could start cutting interest rates much later than the market expects. The weekly jobless claims figures also pointed to a resilient labor market in the U.S. Gold was trading at $2,001.50 on February 19, 2024, down 0.7% on the week. Gold demand and supply were both lower in 2023 compared to 2022. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.